We're talking state-of-the-art design in a pocket-sized fit. The ads are pervasive and slick, so no surprise that vaping marketing of e-cigarettes in stores has helped make them the most popular tobacco products among teens and young adults. There's so many like ads like nowadays for like vaping and yeah, like and alternative like, stuff and I that like, like I feel like it's a little bit unnecessary. And kids are like getting into it too easily and like they're seeing the ads and then it's attracting them. These are companies that maintain they are not interested in recruiting youth. Um, having said that, so long as those ads remain in the stores, remain next to the candy and the slurping machine, I think it's difficult to take that uh, claim seriously. Today's study shows those ads are having a dramatic effect. The fact that seeing promotional messages in stores increases the likelihood of future vaping, that's pretty much the exact same road that we went down for cigarettes and tobacco many years ago. Tobacco ads are banned in Canada and the U.S., but the rules are a lot looser for e-cigarette advertising. Researchers in this study say the unregulated e-cigarette market has contributed to its growing popularity, especially among young adults. You are in the works. A development this researcher saw coming. We did warn the government, and we said, you know, if you allow advertising, then you're going to get a lot of uptake, uh, and, that, and you're not looking for that. Schwartz is currently involved with a similar research in Canada that shows that after one year, 40% of youth and young adults who weren't vaping picked up the habit. I would say that this is urgent given the numbers uh, of young people who are starting to vape and they're becoming addicted. Health Canada says it intends to introduce new measures to curb the rise in vaping by young people, some of which include more ad restrictions and limits on the display of vaping products in stores. Cass Roussey, CBC News, Toronto.